All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is an exciting day. Today is reveal day. So if you've been following along, thank you. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I'm Queenie. Uh, I'm from Montana, and I solo camp with my dog, Max, who is a German Shepherd Golden Retriever mix who's running around here somewhere. Uh, he'll be in the video a little later. Um, and the last couple videos that I had with my truck in it, we talked about what we were going to be doing for truck camping or what we thought we would be doing. So I did one where I was camping in the cab. I did one where I made a makeshift topper and was camping in the back. And we talked about the pros and cons of each way of doing it and kind of was leading you guys down the road to possibly today. So without further ado, let's reveal the new toy of the channel. Well, there she is, everybody. This is my new to me 2004 Eddie Bauer Edition Ford Excursion. She is beautiful. Look at her. I can't even tell you how long I've wanted one of these. Um, I can tell you that I, I specifically remember reading in a magazine, because this is how long ago this was. This is over two decades ago that Ford was making this behemoth SUV. And I thought, ooh, this is gonna be cool. And being a Bronco fan, I thought, man, I wonder what this thing was gonna look like. And when I first saw it, and I saw the inside of it, I thought, man, if you just take those seats out of it, you could throw a mattress in the back, and you could go absolutely camping wherever you wanted. Legitimately, before I even knew what truck camping was, before truck camping was a thing, before it blew up on YouTube and everything, this is what I've wanted to do for over 20 years. And I'm finally, finally getting to do it. I can tell you that I have previously had the opportunity to buy one of these twice before this one. And every day that I decided to not buy it, I've regretted it. So while she's not exactly what I specifically wanted, mostly like color and the engine, but we'll talk about that in just a little bit. Um, I love her. And we'll do a little, we'll do a quick little walk around and everything. Um, obviously you see she's a little banged up. Um, the secondary market on these are wild. Um, they've always been wild, even before like COVID and everything. Uh, these are highly sought after by four enthusiasts, um, and then depending on what engine you have in it, it gets even crazier. Um, Ford only made about 200,000 of these, and it was only made from 99 to 2005, so there's really not too many years. There's not too many of these out here, and they're getting harder and harder to find, and I have literally been looking for about a year and a half for one. Um, so full disclosure, I knew I was not getting another truck. I knew I was getting an excursion. Um, but I wanted you guys to understand where I was coming from and to also talk about some of the pros and cons of camping with a topper versus camping in the cab. And I pretty much glitched the matrix with this one. So let's go to, let's open this girl up. I got a bunch of what's to come in the back. So I'm gonna switch a little bit. This bad boy is super heavy. Ugh. I have new uh, lifts for it. So let's get this opened up. So I bought this wrecked and just the stuff in the front is actually mine. Everything else is the previous owner's. Um, so I have quite the detailing work to do. I have a ton of stuff to throw out. The whole thing is sticky. The interior smells funny. Um, yeah. Anyways, but as you can see, I have quite that 
Ooh, maybe I don't want that touching their stuff. Sorry. I don't mean to be a germaphobe, but I don't know where their stuff's been. So, um, so as you see, we're doing LED lights. I got, um, tail light because pretty much every lens cover was almost broken. I got the headlights that are sitting in the truck. Um, I got the new grill. I have the window molds. Oh, I have a bunch of stuff. Just a bunch of stuff, guys. Um, as you see, I have two packages of the side mirror lens covers. Um, of course, if we were going to have something cool on the excursion, we had to have something cool on the pickup, so I'm going to change those out too. But um, let's look at these the interior. So, I, full disclosure, guys, there is... Okay, I don't know why it's being all weird and zooming like that. Okay, cool. Stop that. Um, so, one con of doing this is this big old tire is going to be in my way for quite a while. Um, unfortunately, the build is probably going to be over budget. Um, but one of the things I do want to do, and I'm saving up for, is getting that tire out of the space and getting it put on the bumper like a Jeep or a Bronco swing arm, uh, spare tire swing arm. So, those aren't cheap. Especially because I want it molded into the bumper that I want. And, uh, so it's pretty much custom fab. But, you do lose width space. So, if I was getting a topper, this space, from here to here would be wider. Even if you took the tire out, you still have all this molded plastic right there and right there, which cuts down your space. Now, what is nice is there's cup holders. <laughs> so I'm going to have uh, built-in cup holders already. So that's kind of nice. Um, I'm willing to give up that extra space because I have all of this space. So right now what I'm thinking about doing because you guys know I'm adamant about having a no build or a low build, um, is taking this seat, just this portion right here, because these this comes out by itself and this comes out by itself. I'm, I want to keep this one so that I can seat three. I want to take this out. Uh, I want to put Max's bed right there. And then the, the I don't know if I'm going to really say height, but the, the length from that seat to down here is 72 inches. So right now I can put my foamy in. One, that's not my foamy, by the way. This is That's the previous owner. So um, I'll be getting some gloves, some garbage bags, throwing all this stuff away. Um, I am going to donate those diapers. Uh, I don't want those going to waste because those are super expensive and there's probably people in town that need them. But anyways, uh, so from the seat, back seat to here is about 72 inches. So I'm going to put my bed there. Max is going to be where that seat is. And then I'll have our storage kind of off to the side. Um, again, like I just said, I'm adamant about a no build or a very little build. Um, this will probably be how it looks for a while. Not not all that stuff. <laughs> but just very, very much weekend warrior. And that's what I want. I want to be able to show you can just, you know, get in and go. Um, once the tire does get out of here, I will probably move the bed to this side and have Max above me, and then behind the seat will be a bunch of the space. Uh, but I'm still working on a couple ideas and everything, and as I kind of clean this and start kind of throwing all my stuff in it, um, I may change. Uh, I am not going to take any of the seat belts out and everything for right now. I'm going to keep all of them in there and everything. Um, now, I will tell you for those people that are like, whoa, where's the third seat? So the third seat didn't come with this. So the previous owner took the third seat out. They did not put it back in when the insurance company took possession of it, which is perfectly fine because it already sucks that I have to find a space in my storage unit for that, um, for that section of the chair or the seat there. Uh, so... She needs a super big tubby. Um, we're going full, almost full LED. Um, as you can see, I don't run the LED lights on these um, F-250s. It's on an F-250 frame, so I'm still going to call this my truck, even though this is a gigantic SUV. Um, I've done the same kit, basically, minus these, um, 
in my F-250 that's sitting right next to us that I showed. Um, I will link all of the bulbs that I use in the excursion and for my F-250 because there's a couple that are a little different. Um, the headlights are a little different augmentation and there's certain bulbs that need to be done differently based on each one. I'll link everything that I use. I'm going to have a video of me kind of working on this and everything. Um, one thing I do have to do is figure out how to turn the lights off when the doors are open because that's going to be a battery killer. So a couple things that I got to figure out. Um, I got the new lighting that I'm going to put in here. We'll see how it looks. I got all the Reflectix that go on every single window already. And I'll be making curtains. And I have a couple ideas of how I want to hang the curtains. Um, for those that don't know, on excursions, these windows, these back windows, are power and they do vent a little bit. They will pop out a little bit. Um, so I'll get a little bit of air. I'll be able to, right now this window is not rolling down, so I have to get that in and figure out why that's not working. Um, but I'm going to get all of the rain guard channels uh, changed out. I'll show you why. We'll come outside. So in the accident, these two were broken off, which I'm not sad about because these are the exterior mount. And let's walk around. We'll walk around to the other side so I can show you what, what I'm talking about. So as you can see, these kind of stick out kind of far. I can't really see because it's a little funky lighting out here. But anyways, you see how chunky these look and everything. So this is exterior. This is outside mount. And if you guys come on over here, this is the in-channel mount that I run on my F-250. This is what it's all going to go to. So all of that lovely 3M double-sided sticky tape, I have to get off. Not really looking forward to that uh, task specifically, but it has to be done. So just going to have to suck that up. Um, I do have the pry. I have some goo gone that's specific for like stickers and stuff. Um, we're going to try that. Um, if that doesn't work, then I have the rubber wheel that will attach to my um, DeWalt. And we'll just kind of buzz it off and hopefully not scrape up the, uh, the finish on it too bad. So let's get... Uh, Get around to the front. Yeah, look at that bad girl. So, uh, in the pictures I saw when it was on Copart, which is where I got it from. Copart is here in Billings. Um, it's an auto auction. And I'm not a member, but I knew somebody who was. Okay, well, okay, let me scrap that. I was a member, um, but I turned my account over to somebody else. So, I bought it um, with their help and everything. And... Um, in the pictures that Copart had that I literally stared at for almost three months, and I'm not kidding you guys, every day since past, um, it went up on Copart's website. You could see it. It was not at auction yet. It was just on their lot, and they're waiting for paperwork. Um, you could see all the pictures, and it was there just a little after Thanksgiving. And I stared at this thing every day. Every day I looked at all the pictures that they had loaded up. And you couldn't really see the back tire tread. You could just see the t front tire. And you see how it's, you know, I can definitely make that work. Well, then you get to the back. And I'm not going through a winter with those. So could I? Probably. But I won't. Um, I want this in tip-top shape. So, new tires, kind of something I wasn't expecting. Um, and if I come back here, yep. So, like I said, pretty much every uh, light lens cover is busted, cracked. So, we're going to go smoked on this one. I already mentioned that. So, smoked on this one. We're going to change out the ones on my other one, too. Um, yep. And then all that 3M. I got to get all the plastic off, get all the 3M off. Oh, that's not a fun one. So my other not fun one is going to be this. So I'm not replacing the hood um, right now. I would like to do a different hood. So I am going to be kind of a tight wad. Um, I have a fender hammer and dolly kit 
which I'll show you guys that in the next video and you guys can see maybe this will work. Um, it's usually for thinner metal, which is kind of what the fender is. I don't know that it's going to handle this, but I'm going to grab a 2x4 and a little baby sledge and we're going to get the smacking. I think that'll handle it. And then to kind of cover that boo-boo, I have some um, clear, automotive clear paint. Well, it's not really paint, it's clear. Um, that I used on a project that I had when I made my short girl step that was color matched to my Oxford white and Arizona beige metallic baby that sits over here. So I have that clear. I'm going to whoosh, whoosh, get a little psh, psh, and uh, get it where... You see it's kind of cracked and everything. And I'm sure once I kind of bang this out, this is going to probably need a little... Um, we're going to fix that. And then I have one of those bug reflectors that I'm going to stick on it that's going to cover this. So I'm not going to have to worry about that. I got a new grill. Um, the bumper and the grill guard. So on her... And if you haven't noticed, all my trucks are hers. I don't, all my vehicles have been hers. Everything, my Mustang, my half ton, all my Tauruses, like, I don't, don't ask me. I've always thought, I've always called them girls. I've always, they were always her, hers. So, I don't know. I'll have to think about why I do that. But anyway, her and her. <laughs> so, I want, uh, back to this other, the original thought. So, I really would like a custom fab bumper grill guard that, um, there's a gentleman that is in Lockwood, which is just outside of Billings. He does them. They're not cheap, obviously, because it's custom labor and everything, custom forming. I would really like those, so I'm holding out, hoping that I'm going to be able to get get that squeezed into the budget. There's a couple things that, uh, you know, that is why the hood's not getting done, because that's whatever. You can cover that. I want that big bumper grill guard um, for where I'm going to be. Also, we have deer, so I've definitely hit a, hit a few deer in my life, um, like two. But I've come so close, and you can't imagine the, the heartache of when you go look at the front end of your vehicle. And yeah, so these headlights are not cheap on any of these trucks that I own. So um, I have new headlight covers. I went with the black housing. I did not go smoked. So, if you guys will notice, um, my headlights and my brake lights on both vehicles are not smoked. I'll show you. We'll come over here. So, obviously, those are the old ones. I'll pop the other ones out of the other one. Can you guys see through the grill guard? So, that is not smoked. So, that's black housing. And we're going to do a smoked there. Just on the exterior, a lot of uh, people won't really pay you a mind, but once you start smoking your lenses here, you definitely get um, you definitely get looked at by Popo. And I don't exactly drive slow, so I don't need to be adding fuel to that fire. So look over here, we'll show you. So new grill. This is the. Uh, the bug deflector for the hood. These are the new. Whoop. These are the new rain channels, the rain guards on the front. Um, I got the headlights sitting in. Where do I have them? Oh, they're sitting in here. Hold on. Let's go look. So you guys can kind of see. So this is kind of a goofy system. Um, it's a two-piece on the excursion, where it was a one-piece on my uh, FT50 here. It. Come here. Of course, and then I'm doing this left-handed, so and I'm right-handed, so this is kind of goofy. Hold on here. Let's get resituated. Okay. So, as you guys can see, I did I did black housing again. I'm just a fan of it. I just like it. I think it looks uh, I think it looks really good, especially with the the grills that I like to run on these. Um, I will link, so once I do do, once I do do, once I end up getting the video done where I swap out all the LEDs and everything, um, and we get all the lenses done, 
Um, I'll post that link. Let's get around to the front. I'll post the link of that one in this video for anybody who catches this video after the fact. And yeah, and I'll kind of link back to this one too and the where I'm doing a bunch of the work. But anyway, so I guess we, we haven't really talked about why, other than I wanted one forever. Um, but I mean, pretty much when I talked about the things that I didn't like about being in the cab, like you didn't have any space, and while it was a smaller space to, to heat and everything, um, you, well, I did. I lack space because of Max, which reminds me I gotta go grab him because he hasn't, he hasn't been running around just yet. So actually, I'm going to, actually, I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna go get my boy, and uh, we'll be back in just a second here, guys. Okay, guys, we reset. As you can probably hear, Max is all worked up and all excited. So, for those of you who are looking, being like, oh, Max doesn't look the same. Well, Max had spa day, so Max is sporting his summer coat. Um, he gets way too hot, so he got a little buzz. So, and he is super excited, but will not jump up in here. So, um... That was one of the things that I talked about. However, I do have a ramp that uh, is for SUVs that you can hook onto. It clips right there onto, I don't really know what exactly you want to call this. So that is where the door clips to, and that's where it locks down to. You can clip that to it, and that's got a nice ramp with some padding and everything. And uh, I'll have to teach him how to get in and out. Um, he will be able to. Because as you can see here, maybe I should go this way. Because as you can see, he jumps in and out of the back seat of my truck. And as you guys can kind of see, I think you guys can kind of see it, uh, the truck does sit up higher. Um, this only has, oh, I think it's 16s. 16s or 17s. Uh, this is a King Ranch, and back in 06, they did not have the 18-inch version. You only got 20s, so this is a stock 20. Um, run KO2s. I will probably run KO2s on this one. And for those who are like, what are KO2s? Uh, I apologize. Um, I go into truck lingo. My apologies for those that are not truck enthusiasts and everything. So KO2s is a BF Goodrich tire. And it's called KO2. Um, so far I've really enjoyed how they're wearing on this one. So we're going to throw it on this one. Eventually, I would like to go with a bigger tire. I would like to go with either a leveling kit or a lift kit. Um, but before I do that, I have to get I have to get coil over. So you guys can kind of see. So right there, that is a leaf spring. So a King Ranch, or excuse me, not a King Ranch, an excursion is dual leaf springs. So it's got leaf springs in the front and the back. And if we switch over to my pickup, so this is what's called coil over. So it means it's got a uh, coil suspension. So I still have leaf springs in the back, but in the front here is coil. So I do want to switch that for my 2004 for the excursion. Um, it's just a nicer ride. And I can tell you, I noticed the difference right away. So it's high on the list. The bumper's high on the list. Um, the back bumper's high on the list. The things that need to be done on her. But anyways, we were going to talk about why. Why camp like this? So again, not to really harp on it, but no build. Um, you're sealed in from wind and rain. Um, if you have a chopper, you have the chance of it leaking. This is more than one way in, one way out. I feel like I can be a lot more stealthy if I need to be in a parking lot. Um, instead of, you know, this is going to be, no this would be noticeable. Obviously, this is not how a truck is, but, you know, flipping down your tailgate and then grabbing something to go up 
and then getting in the back of it and then closing this all down. That's kind of noticeable. People are gonna, I don't know why it does that. It's not that. New camera guys, so new camera on this one, playing with it, still trying to figure out all the settings, so I apology. Apologies. So anyways, so that was one of the biggest things I didn't like about if I threw a chopper on, on a truck is it's, it's just one way in, one way out. It's very noticeable when you're throwing open, you know, the hatch and then crawling in and then closing that hatch. So I can get in this way, which when I'm camping, I will use this way. But if I'm, you know, traveling and we're having to do a little more stealth, we'll use the, the doors. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to keep this seat. Why are you whining? What what is what is so hard about life right now? Okay, good boy. Anyway, so that's why. <laughs> uh, Max. Uh, so this is why I wanted to keep this seat. Um, I wanted to be able to kind of sit and then kind of swivel around in here. Um, if it is cold, because I know I joked about this in at least one of them is that everybody always complains, oh, I forgot something in, you know, the bed, or I forgot something in the cab. Well, I don't have that problem because I have access to everything. So I'm not doing remote start. I'll be able to crawl all the way up into the, into the front, get it started. Um, and I guess that's probably a good segue to talk about why I went diesel. Well, of course it was always going to be diesel. Um, now I did go 6.0. It wasn't the one I wanted. And before... I get all the comments. Remember that I did say that it's the same 6.0 power stroke that I run in my three quarter ton. This is my daily driver. This is my baby. I know what to expect. I'm a 6.0 girl. So the reason why I didn't want to go 6.0 in my excursion is because I knew what it meant. I knew that I would want it to run exactly like she does. And I put some money under that hood. So I knew that I was going to be putting money under this hood. And the other reason I didn't want to go 6.0 is I really wanted a 7.3. I love 7.3s. Um, but they're the harder one to find. Uh, people aren't getting rid of them. People are holding on to them. They have as much of a cult following uh, as the excursion does itself. So getting getting a 7.3 excursion was a tough task. Uh, but I saw this one. I sat for over three months staring at it every day. And uh, when she went up for auction, I just knew if I could get it for a decent price that... I would love her and it'd be okay and it is okay hello max hi big boy he's super excited he's excited to go for a ride he has not been in in it just yet to go take a take a ride um it's only had let's go back over here so because it was hit in the front um uh so basically it has all new AC. Everything to do with the AC unit has been replaced in it. It's got a brand new um, radiator. The condenser has been done. A bunch of the lines have been done. Um, so far, that's as far as we've gotten. Um, she's got to go to the diesel shop because um, she either has an exhaust leak or a boost leak or something. Uh, and the brakes aren't too tremendous in them so I know I want them to look at that I got a couple things hello Max got a couple things um, I want the fake um, ball out of there I want to be able to step right there and step in um, I'm gonna get like a bug net to put around here to kind of seal this off one so I can have this open have fresh air um, eventually I'm going to get like a tent that goes over the top of it so I can have all this open and I can be sitting here and Max and I can just be chilling 
and in just enjoying life. Um, I know I said it for like a hot second. I do have new, um, not really struts, but uh, I have new uh, hydraulic arms that are about, I think they're an inch and a half longer. So this is gonna open this up. And I know those of you who know that I've said, you know, hey, I'm 5'2 on a good day. What shoes am I wearing? Oh, it's not a good day. I'm not 5'2", but you know, why, why would I want them higher? You see how low this is? I, I want it to be a little bit higher for when I do the tent. Um, it'll kind of hold it up a little bit better. And um, when I'm sitting here cooking, because when I do cook out of it, oh, it's just so filthy. You know, I want to be able to kind of get my light in here. So my nice uh, Devo slot uh, light, I can probably hang from the handle. So I want this to go up a little bit higher. Um, I got a wish list, trust me guys. So, um, I don't know if I explained everything well, because I just kind of got squirreled because I love her so much and there was just so much that I wanted to talk about in this video and... Max, you all right? Hold on. No, stop that. There we go. Anyway, guys. So, I have a lot of work to do. So, I gotta get going. But, this is the new, the new toy for the channel. Um, I can't wait to get her all fixed up. I can't wait to get this out. And... Yeah, super excited, guys. Super, super stoked. Like, you guys, I just, I can't even tell you how amazing it is to finally have one of these. So, I'm going to cut this off here because I got to start basically doing a ton of work on it. So, I'll see you guys next time. Um, like, subscribe, share, everything. Make sure you uh, hit the notification bell and everything so you can see the progression of the new toy, which P.S., she already has a name. And of course it was going to be Beast in the Woods. I pretty much thought that was going to be the name since 1999. And of course, now that I finally have one, that's her name. So anyway, guys, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Hope you guys have a good week.